what is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel today i want to go ahead and talk about some call of duty black ops cold war specifically treyarch just released a patch for the game and i'm going to go ahead and go through it and see what we actually got hopefully there is a fix for the mp5 foolery that's been plaguing the game or some of the skill based matchmaking issues that's also been plaguing the game but honestly at this point i don't think that there is or there will be in the future when it comes to the skill based matchmaking but i do believe that they're gonna go ahead and do something about the mp5 i wouldn't hold my breath on it but i do believe that they're gonna go ahead and do something about it nevertheless whatever actually happens in the description box below i'll have a link to the full list of the patch notes so definitely check that out if you're interested in the background of this video i have some call of duty cold war gameplay we'll definitely do enjoy that as we get through the topic of discussion today and don't forget my people out there i appreciate everybody who's been supporting the channel please do like this video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and leave me a wonderful comment down below that all being said let's go ahead and get into these patch notes and see what we got first and foremost before we actually do dive into the patch notes don't forget to play the game somewhere somehow for some time frame between now and december 3rd so that you can redeem the free nuketown bundle that treyarch just put out there the bundle contains a epic weapon blueprint six weapon charms and a nuketown themed calling cards sticker and emblem so definitely check that out it's free and you should be able to redeem it as soon as you jump on the game now we can move on to the patch notes specifically i'm going to be covering the multiplayer weapons but i would like to get out there that there are other patches associated with zombies and the campaign so if you're interested definitely hit the link below that being said let's go ahead and get into it for the assault rifle class the ffar1 caught a mean nerve the recoil has been increased its max damage overall has been decreased and the damage range overall for the weapon also has been decreased for the submachine guns the mp5 aka submachine gun alpha has caught a nerf finally the effective damage range for the weapon has been decreased and the devs actually went in and tweaked the recoil patterns to be more in line with how the weapon is actually supposed to function the change is allegedly supposed to make it a little bit harder to stay on target while the weapon is actually being shot and make it a lot harder to maintain mobility while moving i.e strifing bunny hopping sliding etc apparently somebody out there is listening and treyarch is on the ball because we really really needed this now all we got to do is cry about the skill based matchmaking some more and we might actually get something done eh, eventually we'll get there maybe wouldn't hold my breath on it though moving on to the tactical rifles the m16 also caught a nerf across the board the max damage range for the weapon has been decreased they increased the sprint to fire time, increase the delay between burst shots, reduce the effectiveness of the laser attachments, and also reduce the effectiveness of all the barrel attachments as well. Across the board, it got a nerf. There's nothing positive here. A lot of people actually did use the M16, so I am kind of wanting to jump on the game and see what the new meta is going to be after this patch and see if the gun actually is still viable when it comes to the multiplayer mode. Furthermore, the AUG, aka Tactical Rifle Charlie, got nerfed as well well they reduced the damage range slowed the movement speed when shooting increased the sprint to fire time and nerfed the attachments associated with the barrel and firing rate of the weapon very similar to the m16 this weapon also got a super nerf across the board next up is the type 63 it actually got a bit of a buff the firing rate was increased and the attachments associated with the weapon were all rebalanced to better the weapon overall finally the dmr 14 also was buffed they increased the firing rate and the attachments associated with the weapon as well moving on to the lmgs the m60 got a mean buff they increased its movement speed and improved the damage range so this weapon should actually be more valuable when it comes to the multiplayer and i'm looking forward to see what this thing can do for my snipers out there all of the sniper rifles have been affected by the following the devs went ahead and adjusted the sprint to fire time to actually be in line with the animations associated with the sniper rifles currently in the game they also adjusted the movement speed so that when firing the weapon it should make it seem like the shots are more powerful i have no idea what that actually means but that's exactly what they did so hopefully some sort of change happened maybe it'll affect the quick scopers out there maybe not honestly it's a lot of technical jumbo here so i don't even know finally with all the sniper rifles they actually did go ahead and fine-tune the attachments to make everyone 
gun feel and handle completely different from one another. If you're a sniper out there, definitely let me know if there's anything new or any changes associated with them, if this actually is notable or if it's cosmetic on the surface only. Let me know down in the comment section. Furthermore, for my pistol users out there, this one is definitely for you. The devs went ahead and buffed the Magnum, actually making it quite useful. They increased its firing rate, they increased the maximum damage range, and they went ahead and improved the visibility when shooting the weapon. I call that a buff. Last but definitely not least, the shotguns. The Gallo SA-12 unfortunately caught a nerf. The devs went in and decreased the overall damage associated with this weapon. It should make it a lot harder to spam and to actually land hard hitting kills at range when it comes to this weapon. I never actually had any issues with this weapon and did feel that it was fine whenever I went up against it. However, apparently it's a thing and the devs went ahead and nerfed it. So that's what it's going to be. That is actually it when it comes to the weapons. They did patch a lot of other cosmetic glitches associated with the game and they did update the scores associated with some of the score streaks to make things a little bit more balanced. So definitely check that out via the link in the description box below if you're interested in viewing any of the full list of the patch notes. That's about it for me on this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch my video. Please do me that favor and like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and leave me a wonderful comment down below. Appreciate it and I'll definitely see you on the next one.